going on everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing melissa mccarthy's new film can you ever forgive me me say melissa mccarthy you guys know that i'm not usually the biggest fan of her i do like her in some of her films but overall the one thing i've been so impressed with so far from her is her dramatic chops and this film puts it right out there now, let me just state it this right now i think gaga will still probably be my number one pick for this year's best actress but mccarthy will get nominated i'll be shocked if she isn't she's delightful in here and we'll get to her performance in a little bit but what is can you forever forgive me about well can you ever forgive me is about lee israel it's based on a true story about this author who made her living in the 1970s and 80s profiling the likes of very famous authors actresses celebrities whatever you want to name it forging impersonating and documenting their different types of personal notes and diary letters and selling them and forging them to other like collectors and whatnot it's a very fascinating story and it's something that you do need to watch this is a, a great film that just pulls you in gets you sucked into israel's life to a sense where you really care about her character even though she's very despicable in what she's doing and in a sense she's a villain of the story she's the bad person but you're engaged with her character and a lot of that goes to not just the direction which we will talk about the director in a little bit because she was fantastic in here it is melissa mccarthy's performance that really brings this all together she is so damn good in this film i easily probably the second or third best performance i've seen all year long mccarthy is so damn well in here is because her character is portrayed as a again she's a villain she is pretty much the villain, even though she is our protagonist. Again, she's even our antagonist to this whole story. She's the antagonist to herself with throughout this whole movie. And you ever forgive me tackles that in a very limelight type of way. And I love what they did with this and styling that type of direction with her character. There are internal struggles that she's dealing with. There's external ones as well. Two of the things that McCarthy really plays off of within this movie that was just brilliant from an acting standpoint to see is her subtle nuances is obviously she gets very nervous is when she's in these buying deals and selling these types of forged art she knows is fake but you can see is that it's progressing when it first starts she's so nervous you see her hands twitching you see her stressing you see that she's like sweating pretty much throughout the whole film this progresses and when she gets kind of used to it she's not as stressed or nervous about it but you can still feel that guilt that's on her face you see it straight on her face that she's just guilty as all hell a lot of that goes within her eyes and her facial movements it's not just in within the words and whatnot and that's one of the biggest strong points of being an actor and actress is being able to show so much emotion not just through your words or being able to yell or scream but being able to transform into this character lee israel become that role because i didn't see mccarthy at all she just transformed it's not because of the makeup or anything it's just because of who she's playing and it's just all in her face you see all those subtle nuances and she just flows through the story so damn well one other thing though that really impressed me with her is though yeah she is known to be a very funny person and this film does have some funny moments to it as well it's very much a dramedy in some shapes but it's not that over-the-top slapstick humor that she's doing in a lot of films like Life of the Party or, say, Bridesmaids. No. It's a subtle comedy where it feels very realistic. It's something that you would be sitting down and having a discussion with your friends, and that's the type of humor where you're ha-ha laughing at each other and making fun of the situation, and that's some of the stuff that she brings about, and she just mixes both tones so damn well. Not just her, that gives a fabulous performance within here as well. Richard E. Grant is superb in here. I mean, when is the guy not superb? He just plays her gay best friend, and I just absolutely love the nuances and the superbiality that he brought. He just brings a different element, and seeing their relationship and where it ends up going is just excellent there is one character in here named anna played by dolly wells and let me just go as far as to say this i really liked her character i thought she was fantastic i thought the performance was great there just wasn't enough of her and this is where i kind of get to my little bit of cons there's two characters within this movie that one that they name drop throughout it and then they show once in one scene and then never talk about again and I feel like that was the one scene where I was like, you could have cut that out and put a different scene with Dolly Wells' character, Anna, and gone into more depth with that character. Maybe, I know this is based on true stories, so maybe that really was the ending arc of what they go through and what you see within this film, but I wanted a little bit more of that. I wanted more of their dynamic, and I feel like there was more to, say, discover and explore within there, and I wish the script would have gone into more detail on that instead of exploring this one random character that just pops up, or at least explored more of her character so she isn't just thrown in the middle of the film. I will give 
even go as far to say with as fantastic as the direction was within this and this fast paced film because it, it just flew by i just got i got pushed into this world i felt like i was sitting on a wall watching these characters go through about their days and just didn't feel like i was watching a movie it really got me into the scenery but I wanted a little bit more. I think it could have been easily a little bit longer. I think there was a couple scenes missing at some times. Not totally distracting, but scenes that I would have liked to see. And I would have liked to see what didn't get to make into the film. Leah Hiller, who is the director of this film, I've never seen a thing she's ever directed. But man, now I want to go back and research what she's done. Because she does such a fantastic job with this. Yes, I know some of the scenes that I'm having little gripes with are those. But she directed a fast-paced, smooth film that gives excellent performances throughout the whole entire movie. Who she directs Lily McCarthy to give him probably the best performance of her career at this point, and just being able to tell a very fascinating story that's from a protagonist and your antagonist's roles and viewpoints, it, it's in, it's engaging. And, that, and that's one of, one of the biggest words to describe this film is engaging. I cannot recommend Can You Ever Forgive Me any more than I can give right now. This is an excellent film. It's definitely going to be talked about at Oscar season. And one more small thing that I need to just throw in there is easily one of the best scores of this year is from this film. I The second it started playing, I was sitting there, I was like, this is amazing. This is fantastic. Fantastic. I absolutely love the score. It's a score that I definitely will be purchasing when it comes out. And I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on Can You Ever Forgive Me? So with all that said, I'm going to give this film a B. Really engaged with this one, guys. And I was very shocked to see how great McCarthy was. I, I know I've given her crap in the past, but man... I really hope she turns in more performances like this and goes more towards this dramedy or drama route because I think that's where her main points are and where she can really exceed on. This most important thing is I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are on the film. So let's talk about it down below. What are your guys' thoughts on Melissa McCarthy? Do you think she should do more of this type of stuff? Are you looking forward to this movie? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Guys, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.